mysterious continent, land of vast horizons, jungles, lakes, and mountains, of arid deserts and raging rivers, the Congo, Nile, the Zambezi, land of big game, the lush savage life of the tropics, land of wild native tribes, of strange cults and ceremonies. Many weird stories have come out of Africa, some are the creation of man's imagination. Others are true. This is the story of a small hunting expedition, perhaps the strangest of them all. Is it fact or is it fiction? Who can say? like some big affair, Kirby. Sir, are we hunting big game, or do you want to watch a bunch of natives? What do you think it's all about? Oh, I don't know. Those natives will get excited about anything. Come on. Okay, Zunga, let's go. There you go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, Count Sparfu Chile, we'd better start unpacking. You know what I got in here? No, bite what? Look. Fireworks, what for? For the native. We'll have a lot of fun, you know? I bet that they've never seen fireworks before. We'll try them out on the way back, huh? <laughs> you ever gonna grow up with Fire Chili? I hope not. Who wants to be an old jerk? I'd rather be a young one. <laughs> <laughs> He come. He come. What are you talking about, Sunga? Who's coming? Gorilla. Then a big one. That way. Hey, Gorilla. Come on, let's go, boy. Like George, where'd he come from? Hmm. Him, Trent, my friend. You think he was molded by the gorilla? No, I don't think so. He's just passed out that, though. Poor fellow. Let's get him back to camp. Lend a hand, boys. Yeah. Take it easy now. Hold on here. I think he's coming too. Give him a little swallow of that water. Yeah, give me. Hey, take a little bit of this. No, no, no. Ladies, no. Ulama. What's that, old man? Ulama. I didn't get that. Ulama. Easy, old man. Ulama. Steady. Steady. Ulama. Ulama. White. Sirens of Africa. Do you know what he's talking about, Sunga? What's all this Ulama business? Sungu no talk. You no talk. Bad for man talk too much. What's the matter? Are you crazy? Sungu no crazy. Me scared. Scared of what? Sungu no talk. La 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 no, not at all, Trent. Pleasure having you with us. Well, I've imposed upon you fellows long enough. I'll be on my way today. Where are you going? What's your hurry? And you never told us what happened to you. Yeah, what's the story on that, Trent? Well, I do owe you an explanation. It might sound fantastic, but here it is. Oh, thanks, Kirby. Years ago, when I was a boy, my father brought me to Africa. I want to tell you about one remarkable day of my life. It began with excitement and ended in near tragedy. I lived in the midst of the jungle, surrounded by wild beasts and scarcely less wild natives. In such surroundings, almost anything was possible. The unexpected was always happening, and it was often dangerous.
At that moment, the leopard sprang on the roof. Clawed at the snake, and it fell on the floor. Then, terrified and confused, we climbed up on the roof. All danger was over, my two playmates went back to the village. Just outside the cabin was a small enclosure where I kept my pet rabbit. I was anxious to see if it was safe. The little creature was perfectly all right. After my mother's death, my father had taken to drink. Well, that day, he returned to our cabin in an ugly mood. He made me drop the rabbit and go to the cabin with him. He said it was dangerous outside. The natives had just told him that the Ulama were moving in to attack the neighboring village. He left the cabin. For a moment, I remained, not knowing what to do. Then I followed him. It was then that I had this strange experience, something that I shall never forget. I saw her. You saw who? The Ulama. The who? One of the legendary white sirens of Africa. She was a vision of, of womanly loveliness, the most gorgeous creature I'd ever seen. who gave that strange war cry. Then I saw another woman warrior dart through the brush after my father. The ulama held a sling in one hand. Before I could warn my father, she hurled a rock at him. He fell to the ground. settlement, afraid, yet fascinated. On the hilltop stood the Ulama whom I first saw. No one dared approach. Everyone was terrified. The head medicine man immediately began one of his weird ceremonies to propitiate the tribal gods so they would drive off the evil Ulama. They sacrificed animals. They
they bowed down low to their gods. They danced in wild frenzy. This lasted far into the night. Well, gentlemen, that was the last native ceremony I saw in Africa when I was a boy. I was taken back to the States. All through the years, I couldn't forget about those ulama. Say, did you ever see any of those white sirens again? Yes, I did. Well, tell us about it. Tell us about it. Yeah. I've heard of such a legend myself. Go on. Well, a few weeks ago, I organized a safari and was soon on my way to the interior. went on and on. For several days we used a trail. Then we went through the trackless jungle. There was plenty of game around, but I was after other game, more important game. We decided to stop and camp for the night. Then I heard the same weird cry that had come to me from that hilltop years ago. And I saw a woman, one of the ulama, standing there. I ran toward her. I heard a burst of laughter. disappeared. I fell into a ravine. Suddenly, a shining spear embedded itself in the ground within an inch of me. I clambered to my feet in a hurry. My revolver was gone. I hid in the brush. Then I saw another woman looking for me. I decided I'd better leave that vicinity. lost. For days I wandered through the wilderness. I tried to make out which direction the natives had taken. I stumbled on and on. I forgot all about the ulama. I had but one thought, to satisfy hunger. All at once I saw you in the distance. I recognized Sangu and the other two natives.
Desperately, I made my way through the underbrush. I cried out for help, but you didn't hear me. As soon as I get another expedition together, I'm going back. I'm going on until I find the Ulama. Good for you. Brother, you're looking at your other expedition right here. Hey, kid? Yes, father. Are you both serious? It's dangerous. Dangerous? As long as there is women there, lead us to them, boy. <laughs> hey, on one condition. I get all the blondes and the redheads, you can have the brunettes, and we'll leave the rest for Sparafu Chili. <laughs> what? Hey, you can... <laughs> those mountains. There it is. Quite fast, I'd say. And plenty high. Let's go. camp last time. Yeah, I can see it all right. And here's where the porters ran away on me. Won't happen this time. Where exactly is the plateau? There's the plateau up there. Straight ahead, huh? Let me take a shot at that spot with Chile. Pretty inaccessible, Trent. Well, we'll camp here for the night and decide what to do tomorrow. Yeah, let's stay here for the night. Yeah, we need the rest. We'll have a big job to do tomorrow. Say, I didn't notice any woman up there. Yeah, we'll have to climb up there first, Count. Take it easy, Count. You'll see him soon. But where in the... Sunga. Sunga! Ulama! I'm okay. Yeah? Another second you wouldn't have been. Let's camp over there. camp here for the night. Okay with me. Yeah, it suits me. Hey, I see a deer. We'll ever meet for the night.
is the chain. Help! You can do this to me. You can do this to me. Let me go. Let me go. Man, now Josh Parlorica said, let me go. You can do this to me. Let me go. Come on, Johnny's in trouble. Let's go get him. Yeah. <laughs> Sparafucile, the revolt of Rovinci de Potenza Basilicata, Junior, at your service. <laughs> You're awake, man. You're not good. No good? I'm strong. Sabulava! <laughs> we dance for fire god. Fire god want weak man. We burn you. Me? Burn us. Oh, no. Come no. on, us. Oh, my God. 
Oh, uh, what's the big idea? Hello, Malaga. Where you come? America. No, here's such place. Mama. Oh. Why you come? Hunters. Hunters. Big game. Olama. Oh, what? Like you. Olama oh, like strong white man. Queen want strong white man. Tomorrow, maybe Queen see. Come on, Auntie Bunga! Charming bunch of chicks. I suppose they've got to the count someplace. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Captured by a bunch of women. But brother, what women? <laughs> Stronger than oxen. Wait till the folks back home hear about this. Let's hope they have a chance to hear. Boy, what do you mean? You don't think they're cannibals, do you? Oh, come on now, Trent. Well, I don't say they're cannibals, but they can be just as treacherous in other ways. Say, I wonder how these light-skinned natives got here anyway. Where'd they come from? Where are their men for? Yeah, that's something to worry about. You know, there are old legends that say that in the early days, the Goths and Vandals came to Africa. I wonder. Our lives are in danger, and you talk about ancient history. I don't care where these monstrosities came from. I care even less about their husbands. All I want to do is get out of here. Not a chance. Look over there. You should fall for a little masculine charm. Now, let's not rush it, Kirby. Let's see what develops. I'm going to bend that. The bender? Oh, not going to bend to you. I'm gonna bend her.
in time. Say, uh, beautiful. What's the chance of getting out of here? Hey, Trent. Well, this is poisoned. Well, I guess we can't take any chances. Ah, you alarmist. Good enough for me. Hey, cut that out. You embarrassed me. Oh, it's good for three dollars. But, but wait a minute. No, wait. 
We make strong man husband. Find strong man quick. No strong. Give two fire gods. No want. Only strong man. You uh, burn those of us who aren't strong. Burn not. Fire God, take weak man. When me take strong man, make him a tongue. Hmm. She no burn night man. We get. Hey, Baron! You can do this to me! Hey, Baron! Hey, Baron! This woman is with her neighbors. She's ferocious. Shoo! Shoo! You mama! You seem to have a lot of power around here. Lots to say. Send her away. Send her away. Get out. We go. Oh, we're glad to see you. Whatever happened to you? Hey, you should have seen what they've done. What's the queen going to do with us? You fight! <laughs> That's ridiculous. Imagine fighting a woman. I'm a gentleman. I refuse. In our country, uh, men no fight women. Queen one first. You, 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 husband. Mm, maybe we know first. Go! You better win, Kirby, or we fry. Oh, good luck, Kirby. Yeah, with the looks of her, I'm gonna need it. Come on, it's Dunga.
know what this proves, but maybe we can be friends until we can leave this place. You stay. Tomorrow, you marry Queen. You've got to let my friends go. You must. No. We can't give two fire gods. Queen Thomas. But the fire god doesn't want them. Why must you kill them? Queen no kill. We can't give two fire gods. Queen takes stone man. But you can't do this. If I have to, I'll stop you by force. <coughs> no force. Come on, Mr. Kappa. Me, Michelangelo Sparacucile, in a situation like this. I wish I'd never listened to you. Listen to me? It was your idea in the first place. 
My idea, the minute he mentioned women, he was telling us to cross the bow. Well, how did I know that there were more women? Ferocious, carnation. You think that the ship was going to tear me apart? You didn't care whether what or not, brother. You were just ready, that's all. Just ready. Yes, very much. She's going to show us the way out of here. Oh, hey, wait a minute. I thought I'd Come on. getting away. Glad 
time we get out of that scrape, huh? I never want to see another woman as long as I live. It's a long time to go without a woman, Father Bacchilli. Not any more wild ones, anyway. <laughs> Shh. What was that? It's what I can mean. Hey, what's around? Who now? Why? She's the one who saved our lives. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like you're stuck with us, Seth. Uh, isn't that romantic? Hey, give a little background music for us, Kelly. La 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 Hey, we're in luck. Hey, our guys!